and we turn now to the summer games in Paris. It was a big night for Team USA on the court, on the field, and of course on the track. And we are following some breaking news overnight regarding U.S. gymnast Jordan Childs. ABC's Inez de la Catera is covering the games for us in Paris. Hey, hey Inez. Hey, Rachel, and it was back-to-back -back wins for Team USA on Saturday, from basketball to soccer to track and field. But this morning, a major disappointment for American gymnast Jordan Childs having to give back her medal. This morning, the International Olympic Committee announcing that American gymnast Jordan Childs must return a bronze medal she won in the women's floor exercise. The committee upholding the decision to void a scoring appeal made by Childs' coach to get her on the podium. Originally ending the floor exercise final in fifth, her coach appealed to the judges to credit a split leap that she performed in her routine. The Court of Arbitration for Sport ruling that the appeal submitted by Childs' coach, which bumped her score up, was four seconds too late and that the initial finishing order should should be restored, putting Romanian gymnast Anna Barbosu back in third place. The IOC saying in a statement it will be in touch with the NOC of Romania to discuss the reallocation ceremony honoring Barbosu. Before this morning's Olympic Committee decision, Charles writing on Instagram she is removing herself from social media for her mental health. Teammate Simone Biles writing to her, keep your chin up, Olympic champ. This as the Paris Summer Games draw to a close. As Team USA makes a final push to snag the gold medal top spot. LeBron James, Kevin Durant and Steph Curry teaming up in a thrilling gold medal game against host country France, winning by 11 points. We all signed up for this mission to continue the USA basketball dominance is more like a sense of accomplishment. The women's soccer team beating powerhouse Brazil with a single goal late in the match from Mallory Swanson. The first time they've won gold since 2012. On the track, Masai Russell with a photo finish in the women's 100 meter hurdles, winning gold by one one hundredth of a second. And even more gold in both the men and women's four by 400 meter relay both teams setting new Olympic records. B-boy Victor Montalvo clinching the bronze as breaking made its Olympic debut. Now, all eyes on LA 2028, set to include baseball, flag football, and cricket. We caught up with Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass, who will participate in the closing ceremony, becoming the first ever black woman to receive the official Olympic flag. Can LA outdo Paris? I know that the creative community will come together to celebrate our city, our country, and of course, first and foremost, our athletes. And lots of speculation regarding that closing ceremony and the handover from Paris to L.A. There's been a rumor going around that Tom Cruise could be part of this, that he might be involved in some sort of stunt. That is all uh, unconfirmed for the moment. Um, and for now, all eyes on the women's basketball team. They are facing off against France later this evening. Oh, yeah. Guys, more to come, Inez. And Inez, look, you've been covering the summer games from the very beginning. What have been some of your favorite moments so far? Yeah, I think just the general atmosphere here, the fact that these events were being held, you know, at the foot of these iconic landmarks like the Eiffel Tower, seeing the whole city come alive uh, and seeing, seeing all the, the Team USA fans coming together as well. There were so many Team USA fans um, at all these events from swimming to basketball to track and field. Uh, and it was very cool to see everybody united. I think it came at a moment where we really needed it. Yes. And it's been so great watching your excitement over it all. Thank you, Inez. Appreciate you.